Do you ever have one of those days where you think today is the day I'm gonna get my workout in, it's gonna be great, I'm gonna feel so good after, and then 8 p.m. rolls around and you think, what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> where did the day go? And the last thing I wanna do is do a workout. If that is you, this video is for you. Why, hello there. It's Jeff from SweetMumba.com, and today we are going to do a core mini circuit. Yay! Jazz hands. So for this mini circuit, you're gonna need a couple pieces of equipment. You're gonna need a band or a cable attached to something sturdy, like your treadmill, something that you won't be able to move because we don't want you getting injured. We don't want anything falling on you. You're also going to need, a mini ball is optional. Um, a little squishy playground ball, Pilates ball, that's optional. You don't have to have this. It'll just add a little bit of a boost to your hip thrust, which we are going to do either on a ball, if you want a bit more of a challenge, or a steady piece of furniture. Um, you can do it on an exercise bench, you can do it on your couch, you can do it on a chair, something that is sturdy, not going to move again uh, on you because we don't want you to get injured. So in this circuit, we are going to do three different exercises. Make sure that you check in with your doctor, your physio or physical therapist, whoever you're working with to make sure that these movements are right for your body. Because again, you know, as I always say, every body is different and we want to treat yours with some love and respect, just like it deserves and make sure that we're giving it the tools and exercises that it needs to thrive, to be awesome. So let's dive in, shall we? We're gonna start with our hip thrusts, either on a steady piece of furniture or for more of a challenge on your stability ball there. We're gonna hold a hip thrust and you have an optional choice of putting a mini ball, a squishy ball in between your knees and squeezing your knees as we're up in that hold. So keeping that butt um, tucked, come up into that high hip thrust position, the top of that hip thrust, and we're just gonna hold. If you have that ball in between your knees, start squeezing. Remember as you're up here that you're just gonna keep breathing, keep breathing through that whole core. We're not holding our breath. You're gonna feel some tension in that booty, but we don't want that booty to tuck. We don't want it to tuck under. We wanna keep that nice arch in that low back there. Keep squeezing if you have that ball. If you're just holding, you're just in that static hold, keeping those hips nice and high so you're not drooping down. We want that booty engaged. Ready? If you're squeezing, 10 more squeezes. Five more. Perfection. Awesome. Come on down. We're going to go into a side plank now. Stay there, bollies. Okay. Coming into side plank. You can either do side plank up on the knees or for more of a challenge, come up onto those toes. We want a nice straight line from our head, shoulders, booty, down to the ankles there. You can hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds or as long as feels comfortable. If you get any pain, any discomfort anywhere, come on down, it's not good. Pain and discomfort are not your friend. Good, let's hold it for five more seconds. All right, come on down, switching sides. Again, you can come from the knees if that feels better, or you can come right onto the toes there. Woo, wiggly wobbly. You want that nice straight line from your head down to your toes. Your shoulder is set. So by set, I mean that you're not letting it get into this awkward scrunch up position when you're in that side plank. 
It's nice and strong and sturdy. Your hand is nice and flat on the ground, putting that pressure in, out into your fingers. So you're not putting a ton of tension into the wrist there. Good. Let's hold it for five more seconds. Two, one. Excellent. Okay. Come on down. Pal off press. This is our next exercise. We're going to come into a half kneeling position. So what you're going to do is have one knee up in front, one knee behind, like you're going to propose. We're going to hold on to that cable. Nice and strong there into the chest and we're going to press it out and back in, out and back in. The purpose of this exercise is we want to avoid rotating. We want to avoid this kind of action. We want to stay dead on, looking out in front, keeping that core nice and engaged. If you don't know what I mean exactly when I say keep that core engaged, Google Sweet Mum Bod Core Engage. That will help you out. Two more. One and two. Perfection. Let's do the other side now. Ready? Oh, setting ourselves up on the other side. Same movement. Pushing out and back in. Out and back in. Again, the idea is to avoid that tendency to want to Rotate towards wherever you have your cable secured. Excellent. Exhaling as you push out. Inhaling on the way back in. Keeping that core strong. Making sure that you're breathing. Breathe throughout the exercise. Ready? Two more. Perfection. All right, my friend. That can be it. If you just want to do the circuit one time, fantastic. Under 10 minutes. If you want to do it two, three, four times, you can do it as many times as you want. Just head back to the beginning of the video, do it again, or just know in your mind how to do it. You've got the hip thrust hold. We're going to hold it for about 30 seconds or 30 pulses of that ball. Side plank on either side for... 20 to 30 seconds, and then 10 to 12 pow off presses on either side. Enjoy that, get some stretching in afterwards if that feels good for your body, and I will catch you soon, my friend. Enjoy your core mini circuit, and then treat yourself with some Game of Thrones or something awesome afterwards. I'll catch you soon.